Well, greetings once again from Wisconsin. And today, I'm back at the gravesite of famous TV show host, host of Password, Password Plus, Stumpers, Alan Ludden's Gallery, and all these other shows. Famous TV show host, husband of Betty White, Alan Ludden. You can see a lot of people are leaving coins here too. <laughs> this is a really nice cowboy thing there. Cowboy statue somebody made. That's, that's pretty neat. Yeah. And buried right beside him is his father, Elmer D. Ellsworth, who died in 1919 when Alan was only a year and a half old. Elmer died of the Spanish flu. And here's the big stone that says Ellsworth. And I'm sure a lot of you know that um, New Year's Eve 2021 is when Betty White passed away at the age of 99. And it was hearing that, you know, she was going to be buried here, but turns out she's not. From what I've heard is that she's cremated. And just really don't know where she's, where she's really at. Yeah, I mean, June 9th of this year, it's going to mark 41 years since Alan's passing. He died at the age of 63, June 9th, 1981. And if you want to know a fun history fact, I'm not sure if it's really so much of a fun history fact, but um, anyway, um, my great-grandmother, who lived in Lancaster... She actually came up here to the to Alan's funeral in 1981, and she actually got to meet Betty. And my great grandmother said Betty was a really nice, sweet lady. I tell you, Alan and Betty really did have quite a sense of humor. Both of them did. I think that's one thing they shared in common. Both of them had a good sense of humor. Yeah, Betty White, she was in really good shape up until the time of her her death back in December. And right here is a spare plot here. Some people were saying that this is where Betty White was originally supposed to go. I don't, I don't know, I think people just changed their mind on that. You know, as they uh, my... My thinking is they just didn't want to have a big, huge to-do about here in Mineral Point, you know, like with Betty White's funeral here and, you know, with with the place being all packed and everything. It was against the family's wishes to just have a private ceremony somewhere else and bury her privately, some, bury her privately. But from what I've heard, Betty White's been cremated. And I don't know if this is true or not, but um, I think I might have heard that, you know, somebody prob that they probably sprinkled some of Betty's ashes around Alan's grave. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, it's just something I've heard on the something that I heard from somewhere. Hmm. And plus, at this Memorial Day, I also want to thank Alan for his um, sacrifice, you know, in World War II. Since he served in World War II. I salute you. And you know how 
people call Tom Brady the, the GOAT, greatest of all time. You know, that NFL quarterback, <laughs> Tom Brady. Anyway, in my opinion, I think Alan Ludden, you know, is the, the GOAT of game show hosts, greatest of all time. Just with a sense of humor and and all that when he was hosting Password Plus from the episodes I've I've seen of it. And see there'd be a joke or two here and there. So this is the thing of it is if there was like some sort of clue or so that you know if it was like some sort of s some clue or whatever that was like funny or so <laughs> and I'm sure Alan would I mean thing of it is too Alan would even tell a joke here and there to some to one of the guests on password plus two and Betty Betty White would even tell a joke here and there too and her time on the show too from some of the episodes I've seen. I mean, them two really shared a sense of humor. And anyway, that that farm where um where Alan spent the first um years of his childhood it's just outside of Mineral Point. where he spent the first years of his childhood before when I read him and his family moved like how many different places around Wisconsin then they moved to Texas and a couple of the towns I know of where they moved to were Antigo and Elkhorn just to name a couple of those towns from what I've read The thing of it is, um, Alan and Betty are together again in heaven now. After 40 years, they're finally reunited. So... And there are just some times where, you know, I I tend to think when I'm at work and I'm like, oh, gee, sometimes I wish I could have had Alan Ludden's job. You know, to, like, for example, if they, were to have an, if they were to still have, like, a password game show today, I call it New Password or whatever, <laughs> I'd be the host. I'd walk out the same way Alan did at the beginning of the show. You know, the way they said, now here's the star of Password Plus, Alan Ludden. And then Alan would come out and he would just, he would just put his hand out there as a greeting or so for getting up onto the stage to play the game and that. You know, I could probably, <laughs> I would do that too, you know, and be like, Here is the host of New Password, Harry Keys. And then I walk out there and be like, and then just walk up onto the stage, you know, just like what Alan did. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't believe it's been nearly 41 years since Alan died of stomach cancer on June 9th of 1981. And he was hoping to return to the hosting Password Plus, but sadly he never got to return after he left the final time. And it's sad him and Betty White didn't get a chance to celebrate their 
20th wedding anniversary. But they're together at last again. So, anyway, rest in peace to Alan Ludden and Betty White. And rest in peace to um, Alan's birth father, Elmer D. Ellsworth. So, signing off for now.